Hello, I'm Kent McDill. On Wednesday of this week, the Tampa Bay Lightning hosted the Chicago Blackhawks in Game 1 of the NHL 2015 Stanley Cup Finals and sold tickets only to people with Florida addresses in an attempt to keep Blackhawk fans from attending the game. The Lightning apparently had never heard of StubHub or any other secondary market ticket websites that make it easy for anyone with the financial wherewithal to buy tickets to any game anywhere. A reporter from a Chicago TV station covering the game had no problem finding Blackhawks fans to interview before and after the game. The Blackhawks won the game 2-1, so the Blackhawks fans were easy to identify after the game because they were the only ones that were smiling. That same reporter interviewed Tampa Bay Mayor Bub Buckhorn, Buckhorn, who was clearly enjoying himself when he said the Lightning didn't want to lower our standards by allowing Blackhawks fans inside. The reporter got in a really snarky question the mayor didn't catch when he asked why the Lightning just didn't garner enough local fans to attend the game that there would be no tickets available for Blackhawks fans. Florida is notorious for being a bad pro sports state. Miami baseball teams have trouble getting crowds, and the Marlins have won two World Series titles in the last 15 years. Miami can't even support a professional soccer team, and a majority of its population is Hispanic. Chicago Mayor Rahm Emanuel mocked the Tampa Bay decision by inviting all Lightning's fans to attend the games held in Chicago, where they could enjoy everything the big city has to offer. The Millionaire Corner offices are in a northern suburb of Chicago, and my two sons grew up here as major sports fans of all Chicago teams. When my oldest son saw a TV report about Tampa Bay's attempts to block out Blackhawks fans, he said, I'm glad I live in a city where that sort of thing isn't necessary. I'm Kent McDill. Thanks for watching.